What is going on guys? Kenny Valdez back at again with another video. All right guys, in today's video, we're working on the Integra, finally. I'm getting my hands on this thing once again. In today's video, we're probably gonna start the completion to this car, if that makes sense, I don't know. But I'm gonna start putting on the coilovers from the EG that has the Yanaka coilovers. So I'm gonna take the coilovers off of that thing, put it on this thing. I'm gonna put the 98 to 01 rear bumper then hopefully start sanding this car and getting it ready for paint. Also, possibly mounting the wing wherever it is, wherever it is around this clutter, this mess, I gotta take everything out, post some stuff for sale. Like this dash has gotta go, those door panels gotta go, that fender has to go, so many things in here that has to go. <sighs> but yeah, that's kind of what I'm gonna be doing in today's vlog. Um, Kind of got tired of looking at all the mess in there, so decided why not? I'll put the uh, bumper on this thing, post the other one for sale. I mounted on the rear bumper. Now you guys see why I don't have a bumper on this thing because it's an ugly red one. Like I, like I said earlier, I'm just trying to get rid of all this kind of this mess that I've got going on in that last office. But without further ado, guys, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so change of plans. I think I'm just gonna end up mounting everything on. I took everything out of the office for the Integra. So I got the wing here. I've got the side skirts, the front lip. Um, I think I'm missing something else. Oh, the rear valances as well. So the wing that I got, which I don't know if you guys know, I don't know if I told the vlog this, but I got a, a Mugen Gen 1, I think it's called, wing. So here she is, bam. Mm, thank you, Flacco, here's Flacco. You guys haven't seen him in a while since I gapped him. Yes, sir. One! Um, so we're trying to see the mounting points exactly where they go. Hold that flacco so I can rip this off. Yeah. Anyways. So I'll probably update the vlog as soon as I get this on. Bring that over actually, flacco. I'm going to be mounting it on to the factory uh, drilling points. So where, where are you? There we go. Right there. And right there. Oh, that's gonna look sick. Yeah, definitely. I already love it. That's gonna look sick. Yeah, I love that wing. I think it's like the best wing for the Integra. Especially I like how it has like the little like lip. Oh yeah, definitely. It's gonna look dope. So, ready to smoke some holes and uh, get this thing mounted. So I'm debating if I should go from the top or the bottom. We'll drill it from the top or the bottom. I think what Flacco said is, Drill it from the bottom first with a small drill bit, like wise. And then with a big one, go from the top. That way you don't have like a, a point to the top. It will come down the bottom if you guys understand what I'm trying to say. The metal will pop out a little bit on the top and it'll create a little pointy thing that you can cut yourself on. Exactly what Flacco said. So I think that's what I'm going to do. my two holes so you see how it lift lifted the metal up so I'm gonna go with the bigger drill bit and go from the other side that way face down but so far so good All right, guys next day later we have now Esteban or Flacco turned into Esteban because Flacco was here oh and now open the video back up now you're here got it so in the last clip you guys saw, we put the wing on. Now it is time to officially swap these damn coilovers off of the EG, the, the um, Yanaka coilovers onto the, onto the Integra. So you guys already seen a video on this. I'm probably not gonna show too much of it because there's tons of videos on how to install coilovers and I've personally done one. If you wanna go back and watch it, 
feel free to go on my channel and watch how to install coilovers on an Integra. But anyways, let's get these coilovers on. Let's do it. Come here, Astrid. Show them the Yanakas. The beautiful Yanaka coilovers. Bam. The Yanaka coilovers are officially installed. Coilovers are on. All right, guys, so it is a couple days later. Mind you, like I said early in this video, well, I don't know if I said it earlier in this video, but this particular video is gonna be split up into a few days. So today I'm gonna be installing the lip real quick. I don't know if in the last clip I showed you guys the ride height on this thing, but it is atrocious. I don't really care right now because I will be adjusting when I get my wheels, like I said. Yeah, it doesn't make sense adjusting them twice. But anyways, lip is about to go on. Oof. She needs more low, but oof. She's coming together nicely, boys. Yeah, definitely needs more low. I'm debating if I should put a splitter underneath it, but she like is, right huh? Say psych right now. Say psych right now? Yeah. No, no psychs here. But yeah, she looks good. I'm probably going to go, let's see. Yeah, that's, that's not okay. That is not okay. So I have to go lower by at least three inches. Um, still got to do the side skirts. Haven't done that yet. Because they're kind of trickier to do, I guess. I don't know. But lip is on. Wing is on. Coilovers are on. That leaves the side skirts and the rear bumper and spats so three out of six stuff things are done three out of six things are done yeah i'm probably not going to do the side skirts today because ashley wants to go get her kidnappers okay. let me see you I'm upset. that is all i'm able to do today unfortunately but slow progress is better than no progress all right guys so it is yet again the next day and behind me we got the side skirt ready to put on. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you guys. It was a little bit tricky for me to understand exactly where everything goes to because they don't on the back of the new side skirt it doesn't have like the clips that you see here or brackets for the clips. Um, you kind of have to like not guess but sort of guess where the bottom ones hold on to because it doesn't hold on from here anymore it just support it's the new ones just supported by the bottom ones and then from the side and the front but it is pretty sturdy it's definitely not going anywhere at all um so yeah so now i'm, I'm going to be able to show you guys exactly what to do if you guys got the same side skirt let me see astrid muchisimos gracias so as you can see, unlike the, the old one, it doesn't have any brackets. Also, it doesn't have any holes pre-drilled anywhere at all. So you have to make your own and line it up exactly or try to guess exactly where the holes match up to, to your side skirt. The back one and the front one's pretty easy to guess where to go, which direction to go, but, but the bottom is the trickiest. All right, uh, excuse a noisy ass fan, but it does come with this bracket that you see here. So you kind of have to slide behind the bracket the pins. behind the pins. Where is it? Focus. Focus. There we go. So you got to slide it behind the pins, the clips, I should say, just like that. Um, it doesn't go all the way to the end kind of stops right about there um i guess it's just to support it a little bit more i don't really see the sense of it but we're gonna use it anyways so yeah that's that's pretty much the first step all right guys so i already did the other holes as you can see there uh, there along there um the way i've been going about it is after you get this on where is it where is it where is it right there boom you get that side on and then the two on the end parallel from this after you get those on you want to go underneath 
And the way I'm doing it, I guess, is probably not the most professional way, but it's kind of my method, is I've been checking out where exactly, where is it? The holes are, this hole, because that's where it's gonna screw into. And I've been kind of marking it exactly where it's gotta go. So when I overlap it, I can still see, I don't know if my camera picks it up, but I can still see where I kind of traced, I guess. That way I know exactly where I need to drill my um, hole. So the way I've been doing it is I've been using uh, a drill bit and drilling the hole or using the, uh, the self-tapping screws. So that's what I've been using. Um, it's been working pretty well. Um, so far I got exactly where I need to be. Major mistake I did on the other side is I tried to drill them, well match them up to the old sky, side skirt and drill them exactly where it needs to be. That was a terrible idea. I ended up having to drill twice. So this is my method of doing it. Um, you might have a different method, but this is what's working out for me. You look funny. Thank you. So do you. All right, guys. So just a little recap. We did the front lip. Side skirt is officially on. Rear bumper is on. I said rear bumper. Rear wing is on. Rear bumper is not on. I found out that I didn't have the little bracket that goes underneath there. For example, let me show you guys the old one. Just like on this one. See this bracket here that's all rusted out throughout. So I'm gonna need a new one of those. I did not realize that one's rusted out and that one didn't have it. So I'm gonna hit up Acura tomorrow and see if they have it in stock. If they don't, then I'll probably find it somewhere online. I think I already looked it up or I should looked it up. It was around like $46 ship just for that stupid little bracket. All right, so it is a couple days later and I was gonna end the vlog there, but given the fact that I haven't uploaded, I said I might as well just put this in into the video not too sure if it goes in like this or like this would only make sense for it to go like this but let's see so we got the brackets on the bumper the bracket on the bumper i should say and it should fit into these little tiny holes So I was supposed to end the video off by putting on these rear valances, whatever they're called. But this shit does not fit whatsoever. Um, it's kind of why I hate aftermarket stuff. They never fit on the way they should. So there goes that. But here's a nice shot of the rear end one more time. That 98 to 01 bumper. Oof! But anyways, guys, that's probably what I'm going to wrap it up for today's video. I'm probably going to end up having to have to buy another set of those rear balances from somewhere else that has that has a lot better fitment than these ones um, because these ones are just complete garbage. I can't even I can't even finesse it like I, I've tried in so many different spots where to mount it and it's just it's just garbage. As always, guys, I appreciate you guys so much for watching and tuning in. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Click that bell um, button down below. That way you guys get notified when I post and upload, whatever. As always, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button. Leave a comment down below of what you think of the Integra. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.